Hello everyone, welcome to KubeCon CloudNativeCon Salt Lake City. I am Priyanka Sharma and I'm the Executive Director of the Cloud Native Computing Foundation. I am unable to join in person today because my family is adding another pod to the cluster, as they say, and it's not recommended I travel for the moment. But I so wish I was there because this event's show is full of the essential trends in infrastructure today. In keeping with our new KubeCon tradition of themes, each day will have its own focus on the keynote stage. Today, day one, is about platform engineering and building AI platforms. Tomorrow, day two, is about security. And finally, day three, saving the best for last, is celebrating 10 years of Kubernetes. We have some marquee speakers throughout the days. Today, for instance, speaking about AI, you will hear from the likes of Chris Lamb from NVIDIA, Ken Goldberg from CoreWeave, and Aparna Sinha from Capital One. If some of these names sound familiar, you're not mistaken. Cloud native OGs are leading the AI infrastructure movement. I am so excited for their and all the other talks. Our wonderful co-chairs for this event, Nikita, Casper, and Joseph, deserve a huge kudos for picking such a stellar lineup. Before we get into said lineup, though, we have to talk about something else. Cloud Native is the dominant force in infrastructure because of the people that have built it. That's you all. And now, all of us need to come together and protect it as the success of our technologies attracts the attention of some bullies. What do I mean by bullies? Non-practicing entities, also known as patent trolls. Patent trolls are not contributors or even adopters in our ecosystem. Instead, they prey on cloud native adopters by abusing the legal system. We are here to tell the world that these patent trolls don't stand a chance because CNCF is uniting the ecosystem to deter them. Just like a herd of musk oxen, we will run them off our pasture. Confused by my metaphor? Don't worry. I will now pass the baton to our CNCF CTO, Chris Anishek, our VP of Strategic Programs and Legal, Joanna Lee, and guest of honor, Linux Foundation Executive Director, Jim Zemlin, to tell you more. Thank you very much and enjoy the show. <clears throat> Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to KubeCon North America in Salt Lake City. Um, you know, for all of you that uh, have been attending KubeCons, um, you know, we are now basically the largest open source global conference in aggregate. It's completely crazy. We have over uh, 9,200 here folks uh, in the audience uh, for kind of the largest KubeCon North America we've done so far. So super, super excited uh, about that. But before we kind of uh, dive in and talk about what we're wanting to do today, I kind of want to set the mood for especially folks that are attending for the first time. So if you are attending KubeCon for the first time, can you raise your hand? So yeah, that's, that's nice. So uh, I, I've already looked at the numbers. It's about half of you. So, so I, I just want to say that, like, look, uh, many, many people here that come to KubeCon are at different parts of their cloud native journey. So all, all of us have attended KubeCon you know, first on our own. And you know, I think as long as we're kind to each other, help each other out, learn some new things, just the, my whole thing is like be kind, share lessons, uh, make a new friend, and kind of truly enjoy this week. So uh, there's a lot of new folks here. So thank you for coming and you know, trusting us to kind of learn a little bit about Clanted. So <clears throat> with that said, um, you know, this conference has grown. Our, our, our community has grown uh, extensively. You know, Kubernetes turned 10 this year. Um, you know, CNCF is turning nine. Uh, we've grown to over 200 projects that are part of our ecosystem. We have over 255,000 contributors in you know, our community spanning 193 countries. We're literally one of the largest, if not uh, you know, uh, largest open source community and project uh, out there. However, you know, uh, to alluding to Priyanka was mentioning, you know, when, when open source projects grow and communities grow, uh, sometimes you attract attention, right? Uh, it's kind of a sign of success of how I kind of think about it. So, um, you know, as open source has been growing and being used everywhere, you have basically uh, governments 
stepping in now and regulating open source software. If some of you are familiar with uh, the Open Source Security Act, uh, there's a CRA in Europe. So there's a lot of attention because open source is so critical. It's literally shipping in you know, 90 you know, plus percent of uh, products you know, out there. So, so that is happening. You're also getting um, you know, uh, you know, attention from the security you know, industry where we're having crazy security incidents that happen. I'm sure some of you have heard uh, heart bleed or had to unfortunately deal with that back in a the day. Uh, there was a crazy solar winds incident. Heck, you're even having crazy things like uh, maintainers being spoofed with the XE backdoor thing that happens. So with all these things that are happening with open source as it kind of gets to grow, be adopted, and use all the world, it attracts uh, attention, right? And then kind of challenges we have to overcome uh, as a community. And so as Priyanka was alluding to uh, her, her you know, speeches, we kind of have a new legal challenge that is uh, attacking us in kind of the, the CNCF community. So, I don't know how many of you really know what a patent troll is. I've been doing open source for a while, so I've had to unfortunately deal with these folks uh, you know, for, for a bit. But um, you know, essentially, you kind of think of as a patent troll as they're not even part of the open source community, right? They're, they're not really a, like a real company that has employees. You know, they don't contribute code. They don't even use Kubernetes or projects. Heck, they don't even open you know, GitHub issues to complain about why a Kepa or a certain feature hasn't shipped in Kubernetes, right? They're purely folks that sue companies and organizations that use the open source software that we uh, depend on. So uh, if you're really interested in learning more, there's a great website called trollingeffects.org that kind of goes in details, but these folks are starting to show up in our community a lot more. And if you kind of look at the data, um, you know, they're attacking projects like Kubernetes, Argo, Creo, Etcd, Kubeflow, and, and you know, a, a lot of you know, core projects that exist in our community. And from my perspective, like, we have to kind of band together and figure out how to deal with this problem because open source is successful because it's easy to use. It's all about permissionless innovation. You don't have to worry about you know, necessarily using open source software and we kind of have this new legal challenge that's hitting us. But I have some good news. You know, a lot of people may not be aware that CNCF is part of the Linux Foundation. You know, Linux has been, uh, say, around for 30, I think 33 years uh, roughly and Kubernetes, you know, 10. Linux had its own growing pains and challenges, and I'm happy to have Jim Zemlin uh, on stage, who's the executive director of the Linux Foundation, to kind of talk about some histories and lessons they've learned dealing with this problem, because Linux obviously is extremely successful, and they had kind of had to deal with this issue. So I'm gonna go hand it over to Jim to talk a little bit about, give us a little history lesson and how things uh, uh, work in, in Linux land. All right, we're, we're starting off this morning with a riveting topic around legal <laughs> matters as they relate to open source. <laughs> Um, how many people here know that CNCF is part of the Linux Foundation? Oh wow, a lot, a lot more oh, wow. than I thought. How many people here know what foundations actually do? <laughs> I knew, I knew <laughs> it, I knew it. I get this question all the time, uh, often in the form of a criticism, but that's cool. Um, but what one of the things that foundations do is they help deal with matters like this. Uh, you know, our job is to help enable the amazing developers that are here in this room do the amazing work they do. And this year is my 20th anniversary at the Linux Foundation, and we've been helping the kernel community for a long time in Linux, until CNCF came along, was the night, new bright star. Uh, <coughs> Pi Torch is the new bright star, by the way, but keep going, <laughs> CNCF. Um, and when we found this patent matter increasing, trolls coming into our world, people who don't contribute, who are not someone that we can ever negotiate with, we can ever have accept the terms of any license, we decided to take action. So about five years ago, we set up an effort partnering with an organization called Unified Patents to go fight these trolls. And what we did was we defined an open source zone open source technology, that's part of Linux Foundation projects and a few others, that if we ever heard of a non-practicing entity asserting against that technology, we wouldn't go and negotiate. Unified patents on the behalf of our communities would go to the US Patent and Trademark Office and crush those patents, invalidate them, work with developers who have prior art, bring that to the attention, of the USPTO and kill the patent. No negotiation, no settlement. We would go and essentially destroy the very asset that makes a troll's business succeed. And it works. Thank you. 90% success rate. 90% of the time we're able to go in there and destroy these patents. 
And today, we want to get more help from the community so that we can meet these kind of collective problems in the way that we always do, the same way we develop code, collectively. And so Joanna is going to tell you about some of the new stuff that we'd love you all to participate in in solving challenges like this. Absolutely. Thanks, Jim. So uh, this partnership has been immensely successful. We have invalidated dozens and dozens of trolls' patents. Uh, these are the logos of some of the many open source projects that have benefited from the troll deterrence efforts of this partnership. Uh, and we have recently expanded the partnership to provide troll deterrence benefits directly to CNCF and Linux Foundation members. And we encourage you to let your legal departments know and take full advantage of these programs. Uh, it's time for us to continue to band together. For these deterrence programs to be successful, we need organizations and developers to participate. Let's get some inspiration from the animal kingdom. Musk oxen are animals that find strength in numbers. When they are attacked by multiple predators, they form a defensive circle with horns out so that a predator has to face a whole lineup of muscle and horns. Patent to troll deterrence works in a similar way. Um, trolls make money even by asserting frivolous claims uh, and patents that wouldn't withstand scrutiny if challenged in court because of an unfortunate economic reality, and that is how expensive litigation is. In fact, trolls are responsible for more than 80% of high-tech litigation. The reason trolls can make money is because many companies find it too expensive to fight back. So they pay trolls a settlement fee to avoid the even higher cost of litigation. Now, when a whole herd of companies band together, like musk oxen, to drive a troll off, it changes the cost structure of fighting back. It disrupts the economic game that trolls play in attacking innovation. Um, it shifts the power dynamics back in the favor of innovators. And that's why it's so important for us all to band together and participate in these troll deterrence programs. The more companies and more developers who join the fight, the more strength we're going to find in numbers and the more successful we're going to be at driving trolls off of our cloud native pasture. Uh, we encourage all organizations in our ecosystem to get involved, join the fight, enhance your own company's protection, protect your customers from trolls, enhance our community defense, and save money on legal expenses. Uh, please visit our website or the website of Unified Patents, our partner in Troll Deterrence, learn more, um, or come find me. Um, I'm more than happy, and, and so are our friends at Unified, to speak with members of your legal teams. And cloud native developers and technologists, you also have a very important role to play in this fight against trolls. You are the subject matter experts in cloud native technology and are therefore uniquely suited to help us find technical evidence that we can use to defeat trolls. So today we are launching the Cloud Native Heroes Challenge, which is a troll uh, prior art crowdsourced bounty program in which you can help save our ecosystem from trolls uh, for a chance to earn cool swag and prizes. Uh, so be a hero, join the fight. And, uh, you know, <laughs> thanks, thanks, Joanna. And, uh, you know, hey, uh, thank you everyone for kind of, you know, listening to us. You know, it's, uh, we were really kind of in this issue where, you know, CNCF projects and open source has become successful that we're facing these new challenge. And I know for like a cloud native conference starting out with like, you know, a lawyer on stage and talking about patents could be uh, good. I promise we're gonna nerd out about cloud native technology the rest of the time, but I do think it is very much important that we, you know, get this information, you know, out there and kind of, you know, all work together to kind of really go after these uh, essentially trolls, which I consider open source bullies. So uh, thank you all. Thank you, Joanna, Jim, uh, for joining us. And uh, for all y'all, uh, enjoy the rest of, uh, you know, KubeCon and cloud native con. Let's go nerd out on cloud native stuff. So.